So I'm staying at this uh, this KOA right here in Cascade Locks, Oregon. And every KOA is different. That's what I like about these KOAs. But this KOA, I notice they have Jeep rentals. I'm excited. So I'm going to go inside the office and ask the employee about renting one of these Jeeps. Give my Jeep a rest and go test out another one. Hi, how are you? Doing well. I was wondering the Jeeps that are outside, um, could I rent one for Absolutely. just like a couple hours? Absolutely. Yay, thank you. No problem. Do you need to see a driver's license or anything? No, you're all good to go. I'm special. You sure are. <laughs> okay, let's go get this Jeep. All Yay, right. thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, I am so glad that my Jeep is way over there and she can't see what I'm doing right now, how I'm about to che cheat on her with another Jeep. But, you know, I get a chance to go test drive another Jeep, so may as well. It was really nice of them. They actually pulled the Jeep around for me. I just hope that uh, I can get in it. It's a little bit smaller than my Jeep. Alrighty, let's go test drive the Jeep. This Jeep is old school. That was a workout right there. You guys see how much smaller that Jeep is? And you guys probably thought it was an actual Jeep. Well, I'm pretty excited to see this right here. So, one of my favorite movies, actually my favorite movie in the whole entire world is Wild with Reese Witherspoon. Um, it's a movie about her, about this lady that does the Pacific Crest Trail and hikes it. And if you guys don't know what the PCT is, the Pacific Crest Trail, it's um, actually a trail that goes all the way from Mexico to Canada and you hike it. And it normally takes people about five months to do the, the hike. This area that I'm in, I'm at the Columbia Gorge River right now. It's absolutely beautiful. But I knew that this thing right here that I'm about to show you guys was here because in the movie, this is where she stops when she's hiking. I'm so excited to see this. Like, I love that movie. I could watch that movie like a million times. So, I am at the Bridge of the Gods. Look. If you've seen the movie, then you know what I'm talking about. So this bridge actually crosses over the Columbia River and it's from Oregon over to Washington. And uh, I'm a little nervous to drive over it, but I'm gonna go take a drive over it. I think it's like $2 to drive over it. And probably $2 to come back over it. But how cool is this? Like, so cool. I know it's just a bridge, but that movie means a lot to me, like a lot. I love that movie. So 
So I have to tell you guys, the reason why that movie means a lot to me and why I love that movie so much is because PCT, the PCT trail is one of those hiking trails that I've ever always wanted to do. It's always been on my bucket list. And one year, I actually planned it all out. I was gonna take five months off from work and I was going to do the hike. I had started training by doing some mountain peaks close to Vegas and everything. I bought all my gear, started doing a lot of research and everything, and I had it all planned out that I was gonna do the PCT. Um, unfortunate events happen because then that's when everything happened with my father and then my two friends passing away. So after all that happened, of course I did not go do the PCT. But that movie Wild is about how this girl had a rough life and a rough time in her life and then she found out about the PCT and decided to go do the PCT to try to rediscover herself and everything and honestly you know I was messed up in the head after everything happened with my dad but it probably would have been smart for me to continue on doing my plans with the PCT because it definitely would have been a good way to be by myself and distract me you know but that's what I'm doing now. I'm just not hiking five, five, I'm just not hiking for five months straight <laughs> in nature. Instead, I'm driving. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the bridge looks really narrow and my Jeep is really wide, but I've seen some big trucks drive over this, so I think I'll be okay. I hope. Look at how beautiful this is. Look, <laughs> that's the Columbia River. That's the Bridge of the Gods. It's so pretty. The Columbia River runs in the middle of uh, Oregon and Washington borders. So pretty. This is definitely a beautiful area. And then there's a train. Train tracks over there. There's a train coming through right now. I know for some people that may have not been pretty cool, but that was pretty cool for me. <laughs> that was pretty awesome to go over that bridge. Like, it's so crazy. Um, like, that literally is my favorite movie, and I think that's what made this bridge, like, really famous was that movie. I literally have... Is this it? Yeah, see? Look. I have the book. That's the book. I haven't read the book. I've only gotten like that far right now. So I've only read that much. <laughs> and I probably should just start over because I totally forgot. But it's an amazing, amazing, and it's based on a true story, guys, by the way. So if you haven't seen this movie, highly suggest that you watch this movie. It's a great, great movie. And it's a true story. So about this lady, Cheryl Strayed. Um... So yeah, so that, that really was a moment for me just then going over that bridge and I got to go back over it. So it's going to be another moment. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I just had my first wow moment in Oregon 
and it was just crossing over a, a bridge. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, wow. Well, I'm over here on the Washington side now, and um, I guess since I'm over here on the Washington side, I may as well just maybe drive down a couple of a couple of miles, just see what's down the road. Because um, as you guys know, I'm spending a whole month in Washington next month, so I'm doing a month in Oregon and a month in, in Washington. But since I'm over here right here, I may as well see what's what's down the road um, and drive up the Columbia River a little bit on this side. It's such a beautiful area. This is why I decided to stay eight days in this area because I knew there was going to be a lot to see and do. I'm just so excited to see that bridge. I'm excited also that it wasn't packed in the parking lot. This is the middle of the week and it's early in the day and the bridge wasn't packed. And then, did you guys see how narrow that bridge was? Pete, you're allowed to walk and bike on top of that bridge. There's not even, like, a walkway. So cars just have to, like, go around you. No. <laughs> I don't trust other people's driving. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Let's go see what else I can find. I'm finally in Washington. just stop for gas in Washington because I'm not gonna lie to you guys even though I have three quarters of a tank and don't really need any gas I have missed being able to pump my gas while I've been in Oregon because you can't pump your own gas there so it's almost like I was having withdrawals of pumping my gas so I get to do it now yay <laughs> Well guys, I have found my first waterfall in Oregon. And for it to be the first one is pretty huge. So big, wow. I love waterfalls by the way. highway for about 30 minutes and then the other day I was driving on it too. Tasha come here come here. The other day I was driving on it also and uh, there are a lot of spots a lot of spots on this highway where it is extremely narrow. I have 
a pretty wide Jeep because of it due to my big tires that I have I have spacers on my tires so my tires come out um, so it's been some pretty sketchy parts on this highway for me and then I'm getting some looks from people like really what were you thinking bringing your Jeep up here <laughs> So, I just stopped at the scenic um, overlook place, and I think after I visit this place, sad to say, I think I'm going to have to, like, uh, go ahead and get off of this highway, because it, it, it was pretty sketchy and pretty bad. I mean, there's, there's a lot of bridges that you have to go over, and there are signs that say narrow bridges, um, and when, they are not kidding when it says narrow bridges, so I literally have to make sure there's not another car coming uh, for me to go over that bridge because <clears throat> I can't get on the bridge with another car coming towards me So yeah That's about it. I'm gonna go check out this scenic uh, little area right here of the Columbia River. Yay!